What is up everyone? My name is Jonathan. Thank you again for joining me. Today we are doing another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Thank you for joining me. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe if you want more content like this. If you want to be notified when you can download all 26 Adobe Illustrator files for free, make sure to subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you learned at the end of the video. Thank you for joining me. Let's get started. Open up Adobe Illustrator and we are in a 1920 by 1080 document as per usual it seems. Before we get started, I just want to say, if you stick around all the way to the end, I will show you something that I have not seen in another video. So make sure to stick around all the way to the end for that tip. Today we are making the letter P, so grab your type tool. I know we're going to cheat. Create a capital P, hit escape. That way we can just drag this up by holding Alt and Shift and clicking and dragging on the corner. I figured what a better reason to create the letter P we're going to do some particles dispersion on the letter P. Make this a little bigger. Pretty hefty, hefty P. You don't want a super fine, thin, uh, light font for this. You want a pretty good size font. So right click on this guy, create outlines. Grab your direct selection tool by hitting A or clicking on this arrow right over here. Click and drag over these two side points by holding shift, it keeps it straight. Otherwise you might get off a little crooked there. Go off to something like so. Grab your selection tool. Go over here, grab your rectangle tool. Click in this corner right here, drag over here until it lines up. Lines up with the side, lines up with the bottom. You can see those pink lines. That is a tall tale sign that you are correct. Grab your selection tool again. Go over here and grab your gradient and drag this one over so it's about like so. Let's make sure this is black because that doesn't look black. There we go. Go up to effect and down to pixelate this one right here. And then you can pick whichever one you like. Medium dots, greeny dots, coarse dots. You can do lines. Uh, you can do medium lines, you can do short strokes, long strokes, um, but for me, I'm going to do these coarse dots. So grab that one, and we're going to go up to Object and Expand Appearance. Go up here to Image Trace, go to High Fidelity Photo. Let that do its thing. I'll click on this little information box right here. Go down, if you don't have this, it might be under Hit Advanced. Click on budding and then ignore white. Let that process click expand. And then once you do that, you can click on this, click on the shape again and click the unite here in your pathfinder panel. It may be down here. If it's not there, go to window, go down to pathfinder and then click on the unite shapes mode right here. And then you still have that selected, go to object, go down to compound path, click on that, select both of these, select both of these objects, go up to object, go down to clipping path and click make. This may make your computer explode, hopefully it doesn't. Once you're here though, what nobody else seems to explain is, well, how do I change the color? So that is the trick that I'm going to show you today, because if you just click on this gradient, well, that, that doesn't create the effect that we want. Now does it? So hit control Z, get out of that. So click on your object, go over here to your appearance panel. If your appearance panel isn't in a panel over here, go to window, go to appearance. Now go down here to add new fill. And now is how you can change the gradient that you want to use. I always like to start with this blue one. Don't know why, but we are going to choose this yellow one. And we're actually going to ditch all of these. And we're going to just go straight to red, eh, something like so. I like it, but it's just a little too, we're going to go do something like this too much, a little bit more, right there. All right, that 
is way more appealing than the black. The black is what you're shooting for, then do black. But if you want to edit the gradient on this after you have applied the dispersion effect, this is how. That concludes today's video. Thank you for joining me. It's been a pleasure. Make sure to click the like button before you leave. If you want more content like this, click one of these two links. And if you haven't yet, make sure to click the subscribe button. Everything about me is in the description below. Thank you for watching. God bless. Stay safe. And we will see you in the next one.